So today we are going to be making thigh chains. Sounds like a bridal garter, but it has chains coming down from it, and I think it's just really pretty, dainty, cute, and edgy at the same time. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this tutorial started. Okay, so let's start off with an elastic. Mine is around 13 inches, something that fits around the thigh but also won't slip when you're wearing it. Put the ends together and sewing it either by hand or by machine. And if you're really lazy, you can actually hot glue gun it and it will work out just fine. Now you're gonna cut out four chains that are around five to six inches in length. The longer, basically the longer it's gonna look. Um, five to six inches I think will be sufficient. So you're going to attach each chain onto the elastic with a jump ring and it's just really easy. You slip the jump ring onto the elastic, you'll place the chain on the jump ring and then you're gonna close up the jump ring. So you're gonna do this to the other three chains making sure that it is equidistant from each other. And I'm just gonna slip it onto my leg and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that there's two chains facing you. Every chain that you attach next will be the same length from now on. So mine is going to be four and a half inches long. So for the first four and a half inch chain, what you're gonna do is add it to the jump rings that are already on the elastic and you're gonna create a little dip that looks like this. So now you're gonna go down those two chains and what you're gonna do is just add more chains going across and this time I attach it with jump rings just because the links on my original chains are too small. Now if your chains are bigger and it can handle it, you can just skip the jump rings. So I added another chain going across and I keep repeating this until I get the look that I like. At the end, I finish it off with again another chain going across. If you want to add more chains going across, just fill up the space and you can just do so like I'm doing here. It's not really that hard. You just kind of see it, don't like it, fix it, right? So now I'm going to turn the elastic around to expose the other vertical chain and you're going to connect the other chains going across like you have done earlier. And it's a little bit better this time around because you'll have the left side that's already finished off and you're just gonna match the new chains to the left side and then bring it over to the right side. So now you're gonna turn the elastic again to expose another vertical chain and same deal, connect more chains going downwards and going across and also using the left side as a guide since there's going to be chains already connected there. Then on the last turn, there will be no leftover vertical chains but what you'll have is two sides that already have chains on it and you're gonna use that as a guide. So basically just add a chain going across where there's already a chain attached to it. And then you are now finally done. So, ah, look how cute my thigh looks right now. It's just so awesome. And I think you guys should totally do this too because it's very summer friendly. I hope you guys enjoyed the DIY. I know you guys always do because you leave me awesome, amazing feedback. So be sure to like this video so I know that I'm doing a good job. Subscribe to me so then you'll know when I upload a new video since my schedule has been off lately. I also have a link of the DIY pleather circle skirt down below for you guys that I did a while back so you can just use that as reference. And remember to always rock on DIYers. Bye! hand just because it can get very frustrating on the machine. So you're going to end up with a total of 8 stitches and there you have it. You got yourself a nice little bralette that will give you a free tic-tac-toe board for your friends 